Anyone here lost a hearing aid? No? No one's going to claim it and go straight in the bin. Lost property, my policy is a 10 second rule. Right, in the bin it goes. If it's not claimed after 10 seconds, just dump it in there. Kerry's mum. What's she want? What have I done? Oh, fuck it, I'll answer anyway. Hello? Hello? You all right? Hello, can you hear me now? Well, you rang me. Yeah, what, what, what is it? Well, I just got a call from a policeman. Yeah. Oh shit. Why? Huh? Why? Uh, well, there's a in Martin. Oh, that's why. Martin. I said it was dodgy, didn't I? All right. Yeah, all right. Uh, I better go then. I better go then, Sue. No, I'm just saying I better go then. Yeah, the connection's bad. It's fine. OK. All right. Yeah, I'll let you go. All right. Hello? I can say I'm going to go. Oh, fuck it. I just... Fuck. Martin, yeah. I said it. I said it from the start. It was dodgy. It just whiffed or dodgy. I bet... Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah? Hello? Yeah, you all right? Hello? Right, uh, yeah, fuck it. I got. I better go and call the vicar. Can you give me two seconds, yeah? Okay, <laughs> Kerry. Thanks for coming in. Um, just to confirm that you've been cautioned and are entitled to free legal advice, which you've declined. Can I ask why? Because I ain't doing anything wrong. I also say, as my human right, you have not asked me if I want a glass of water, and I am legally entitled to that as well. Okay. Would you like a glass of water? No. But thank you for asking me. That is correct conduct. OK. So, we have evidence to suggest that your father, Martin Mucklow, has been involved in the transportation and storage of stolen goods from a factory in Malmesbury. And it's our belief that he's been using you to store them in a lockup rented out in your name. No, because they ain't stolen. They're being thrown away. It's like, you know, you know the tea rooms in town where if they, like, can't sell all their paninis in the day, they just put it in a bin bag and they put it outside the shop for the homeless and foxes and sometimes badgers get in there. OK, Kerry, I need you to appreciate the, the, the significance of this situation, OK? Yeah, but also, have you ever seen the Raggy Dolls on CBBC? Yeah. Because that's very similar. It's like, if the dolls, if they're not in full working order, like their arms and their legs and that, they should have all their limbs, and these don't have their limbs, and so they get thrown away into a thing, and that's very similar to the Hoovers, because the Hoovers are very much like the dolls, because they also want to find loving homes. Look, I know you're trying to protect your dad, but you have to tell us the truth. I am telling the truth. My dad's not a criminal. When I think of Kerry Mucklow, I think of someone who is very loyal and very, very stupid. So, sort of more stupid than loyal. Sort of 70% Stupid, 30% loyal, probably. Because she's very loyal, but extremely stupid. <laughs>